So we just arrived to the enter of all Jaffo guys and I'm not gonna allow you this ride with the the bird was super nice and super cool and so comfortable to take it around Tel Aviv city. So we just started the day on Ben Yehuda street and right now we are starting all Jaffo. So we drive about 10 minutes riding on the bird on the scooter and we paid about 20 shekels. So if you want to pay less when you travel in Israel you can take the bus. It's very comfortable, it's very easy to take the bus and of course that this is very very more cheaper than um, the bird. And if you want another trick to not pay for the bus, let me know guys. Find me on the YouTube, find me on the Instagram. If you want to not to pay, I will tell you how to do it guys. Cause I'm from here. So we just walk a few meters to the clock just behind me guys. This clock of the top. This tower clock very famous to the gate of Jaffa Street or the old Jaffa. Located just in the enter. And it's bring a lot of people, tourists to see all the history around here. And let me show you what's going on here around. How is the people, how is the food. Guys, when you arrive to Old Jaffo, just to know it, a lot of restaurants to spend, a lot of um, spots to see, a bunch of people walking around here. This place is super famous in Israel. This bakery is so famous in Israel, so common for this kind of bread. It is with inside pizza stuff like a tomato sauce and cheese it's called Abu Lafia guys very very famous one go to see what's going on here and just after this uh, small breakfast we just found the Pishpeshi market now this market is so common if you want to buy a carpet if you want to buy a chair for your house um, if you want to buy a sofa if you want to buy old stuff to your apartment if you like the design here this is the spot to buy. In addition, there is a bunch of restaurants around here and bars and amazing restaurant like a Greek restaurant. Um, so yeah guys, this spot is incredible to visit. This store inside was very very nice product as you can see very old product to buy um, old racket of tennis all the cameras everything old-fashioned by far very very old that takes my picture. bunch of stuff a lot of products from out of Israel guys if you want to check out here all the cakes that came from United States stuff like this all the candies the drinks above me it's amazing oh, I never seen Pringles hot dogs flavor so we continue walking, right now we are on uh, Yefet street guys, this street is very main, main street when you're going inside to Jaffa. And I'm gonna show you right now amazing viewpoint around here, amazing garden that one guy just uh, advised us to going to see. The view from there for all Tel Aviv and all Jaffa is need to be very very beautiful. And we just arrived for this very beautiful garden guys, you can see around and the architecture here is very very beautiful you can see a lot of flowers around here you can see a very big grass that you can chill and hang out with people and in this viewpoint there is the best viewpoint for all Tel Aviv I'm going to show you right now you can see from this viewpoint all Tel Aviv guys. You can see the center of Tel Aviv. You can see more the south. This park is amazing and right now actually 
Um, the weather outside is perfect to hang out, to spend a good time, to chill with friends. Bunch of people chilling around here, drinking a wine, drinking a beer. You can see the Bloomfield Stadium from this viewpoint, like the biggest stadium uh, in Tel Aviv. You can see all the all the beaches around here, all the hotels. Wow. So Jimmy, are you hungry? Good. I think it's shawarma time. Shawarma time. Yes guys, we are gonna try in a few minutes shawarma. You're gonna see it, you're gonna love it for sure. We tried a lot uh, around Turkey, but it's different, bro. I've never it's had it. It's different. Israeli it's Israeli shawarma. one. It's so fresh. The spices inside, you're gonna love it. So I found the best shawarma spot around Jaffa Street, and this restaurant looking very, very beautiful. They got different of shawarma. Jimmy is right here. So Jimmy got a huge laffa. Laffa is a big, big bread, bigger than pita. I just got the pita guy. I didn't know. Yeah, actually I didn't know. It's not his fault, it's my fault. But this is the pita, it's full of meat inside. I put tchina and I don't like to put salad. This is how I love to eat it. And the amba, amba is a very good spicy. Came from, a, made by mango, very good one. A lot of people love it. So actually, Jimmy didn't finish his shawarma because it was very, very big and massive one. It's actually it's very heavy to eat. You need to eat it like after the end of the day. And right now we are back to the clock town. Let me show you a few, few drones video from this amazing, amazing spot. 